Uh, the study boasts a 17% reduction in relative risk for total mortality when replacing butter with plant oil, which sounds really impressive, impressive doesn't it? But it isn't <laughs> at all. It's one of those theoretical substitutions. So no person in the study actually was having butter and, and replaced it with plant oil. That didn't happen. This is all in my sub stack, by the way. Uh, and if you look at the numbers, it didn't do absolute risk. It did relative risk. But just for those that want to know the numbers, there's 221,000 people looked at and there were 50,000 deaths. And the first thing you have to do is, well, what's the baseline? Out of 22, uh, 221,000 people followed for 33 years, how many people are going to die anyway, sort of as an average? Uh, so you know that about 23% of those people will die over the 33 years. Okay, so when we look at the 17% relative risk, what does it actually equate to? Well, 23% over 33 years is approximately seven deaths per year for every thousand people, right? That's normal. That is normal. So what they're saying is if, if you have butter, it will be a dramatic increase, increase from seven deaths per thousand to eight deaths per thousand over 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 the year it's pitiful that is not even significant in any way shape or form so if someone said to you you've got to stop the butter because really there's a one in a thousand chance that you're going to kill yourself a bit earlier it is that's how is that a headline and that's me being really really uh magnanimous to the study because if you wanted to look at other things 